Hi, this is Adas from Mike in Canva, and I'd like to introduce to you the new and exciting feature that Canva has just launched, polls and quizzes. You can now add those to your designs. Let's see how. I've opened this presentation, although you don't have to necessarily choose a presentation, and all you have to do is go to Elements, scroll down, and there it is, polls and quizzes. Click on See All, and there you see both. Let's start with Quiz. I'm going to click on See All, and I'm going to choose the template that I like. Let's say I'm going to choose this one. I can easily edit it, change the colors, change the border. And now let's edit the content. I'm going to click on my quiz, head over to edit, and I'm going to change the header. Who is Sherlock Holmes? Now I'm going to edit the quiz options. So I can just click on the first option. If I don't need four options, I can just delete them and I'm going to type in my answers. Once you want to choose which of the answers is going to be the correct answer, you just have to click those three dots and there you have the option to mark as correct. You can change the order of your answers, move it down or up, and you can also add more options. You can also change the footer. So if you don't want it to say submit, you can choose whatever you'd like. See all, go, send, shoot. Now let me just make a few adjustments. And now what are we going to do with it? So once we have that ready and set, I'm just going to head over to present, present my presentation. And let's say that I am presenting this live to a live audience and I'm just going to ask them this question. Once I click on the answer, you can see that Canva shows me that I've answered correctly. I can also go over to share, create a public view link of my design with this quiz and share it with my colleagues or audience. And then let's say, for example, I open it up on my mobile phone and you can see that if I get the wrong answer, Canva will show me that I got it wrong, but what is the right answer? Now it doesn't end there. Let's go back to the editor. And once I click on my quiz, I can head over to responses and see how many people participated in this quiz and what is the percentage of the right and wrong answers. I can see the responders name and if they are not part of my team, they will just be anonymous. And so I can see some interesting statistics. Now let's head over to polls. I'm just going to open a new design, head over to polls, and let's say I'm just going to stick to this question. I'm going to go to edit. Of course, I can change it. As you can see, I can also add emojis to my options. And now let's head over to present and see what that would look like. So I'm going to reply that I'm feeling great. And you can see that 100% replied great. But if I send it to my friends and they open it on their desktop or mobile, I can see how many people replied in each of the options. You can only vote once. Now let's go back to responses. I can see the same statistics here as well, but I can also download this as a CSV and then I can analyze it and use it in whatever way I need. You can click on these three dots to reset all responses and have it ready for your next lecture. You do not need a pro account for this, but if you'd like to try out pro, I'm happy to give you 30 days camera pro for free, no strings attached. Just scan this QR code. You can also create a QR code for your quiz or poll and share it in your designs with your friends and colleagues. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.